But now it's time for our most dangerous experiment, the life experiment. After last month's explosive demonstration, we decided to protect ourselves. So Isidora, what's in store? Come on, it wasn't that bad. Anyway, you won't be needing protection because this week's experiment, we are connecting with George Rungos on the Greek island of Lesbos, and we're going to, he's going to make a mess far, far away. George is our scientist ambassador and um, experiments enthusiast, and he has a channel with more than 100 video experiments. George, welcome to Scientix TV. Hello, Sidora. Hello, everyone. Thanks for the introduction. I'm George, uh, Greek Scientix Ambassador. And I'm training teachers in science experiments at the Laboratory Center of Natural Sciences in Mithilien. And I really love to do experiments with everyday life uh, materials. Uh, I have to tell you, I really love coffee, but I hate waiting for the water to boil. The good news is that scientists have figured out how to do it faster, and today I'm going to show you how to change the boiling point of the water. Are you ready to change the way you make coffee forever? Let's get started. We all know that the boiling point of the water is 100 Celsius, but did you know that the boiling point depends on the pressure? Uh, to change the pressure, all we need is a plastic syringe, a big one, a rubber cup and some warm water at about uh, 70 degrees uh, Celsius. We pour the warm water in the syringe. Pushing the plunger, we take the air out. But this doesn't change much, right? To bring it to a boil, we close the syringe with a rubber cup very tightly and we pull the plunger to reduce the pressure. As you can see, the water is boiling and it's only at 70 degrees Celsius. This happens because when we reduce the pressure, the bond energy also reduces and the gas is easier to expand. Some of the big bubbles inside may come from the air dissolved in the water or from the surrounding air. The boiling stops because this is an endothermic phenomenon and the water absorbs heat. To keep it boiling, we have to reduce uh, the pressure and uh, the, to continue boy. So if you like hiking on high mountains and want to make some coffee, your water will boil at a lower temperature than 100 Celsius. I hope you like it. Uh, don't forget to put the Scientix logo on the table for a successful experiment. Back to you, Isidora. Thanks, Isidora. And George, we cannot wait to see what experiments come next. But I'm afraid it's uh, all we have time for today. So don't forget to comment on social media using the hashtag ScientixTV. And thanks to our wonderful guests and everybody making possible ScientixTV, the show where you can look at the world through STEM glasses. Big thanks also to Microsoft, this episode's industry partner. Tune in again next month. Enjoy the spring weather and all the best from your Scientix team. Goodbye.